What is Hemingway's iceberg theory? The thing about icebergs is, there's always more hidden beneath the surface. Hemingway's iceberg theory centers on the idea that there's always more to a story than what the reader or viewer sees. In Death in the Afternoon, Hemingway wrote, If a writer of prose knows enough of what he is writing about, he may omit things that he knows and the reader, if the writer is writing truly enough, will have a feeling of those things as strongly as though the writer had stated them. Hemingway began his writing career as a journalist assigned to the crime beat for the Kansas City Star. His articles had to be purely factual, with no opinion or personal interpretation added, and Hemingway naturally brought that minimalist style to his fiction writing. His stories were slight and restrained, leaving things unsaid instead of spelling everything out for his readers. In fact, iceberg theory is all about the idea that not including everything actually makes a story stronger. How Hemingway's Iceberg Theory Can Help You Above the surface is everything the audience sees, narrative, plot, dialogue, and action. But under the water, hidden beneath the surface, is everything else, thoughts, feelings, motives, symbolism, theme, and subtext. But, as anyone with knowledge of icebergs knows, just because it's below the surface, doesn't mean it's not there. In The Art of the Short Story, Hemingway wrote, If you leave out important things or events that you know about, the story is strengthened. If you leave or skip something because you do not know it, the story will be worthless. It's tempting to stuff your screenplay with every detail, but the greatest writing relies on the subtext that is created by the things unsaid the things purposefully left off the page. Modern audiences don't want all of the information, they want stories loaded with subtext and subtleties, that's how the most profound meaning is created. Writers who utilize Hemingway's iceberg theory must embrace the idea that they will always know more about the story, the world, and the characters than there will ever be room for on the page. For leaving things off the page can often be more powerful than spelling them out. How to use Hemingway's Iceberg Theory in your writing The dignity of movement of an iceberg is due to only one-eighth of it being above water. Ernest Hemingway Writers are world builders. No matter what format you prefer or which genre you choose, the craft of writing itself requires filling blank pages with the words, imagery, and dialogue that bring a story to life. You start with nothing but a blinking cursor and create an entire world. Inevitably, there will be parts of that world that don't fit on the page. That's where Ernest Hemingway and icebergs come in. The Iceberg Theory also known as the theory of omission, is a style of writing coined by American writer Ernest Hemingway. The theory is so named because, just as only a small part of an iceberg is visible above water, Hemingway's stories presented only a small part of what was actually happening. Alternatively speaking, Ernest Hemingway's iceberg theory is his strategy of fiction writing in which most of the story is hidden, much like an iceberg underneath the ocean. The largest percentage of an iceberg is underwater, not visible, and is subsequently the strongest part of the iceberg. In the same way, the strongest part of a Hemingway story is what is hidden from the reader and, if applicable, revealed later. Hemingway developed the style as a result of being a journalist, a profession which requires conciseness due to space restraints in printed newspapers. Hemingway believed that the application of the iceberg theory created the perfect short story, and the more details the writer strips away, the more powerful the story is. 
The iceberg and iceberg theory described above specifically relates to Ernest Hemingway and his style of writing. Within a parallel universe, countless analogous interpretations can be drawn when making comparisons as is the case when comparing an iceberg to humankind. In this comparison, only a small part of a human's mindset, culture, philosophy, values, principles, beliefs, thoughts, and ideas are visible to the naked eye. The largest percentage is not visible, hidden within the vast depths of an individual's mind. To this end, this analogy can be drawn. Not everything or everybody can be judged on looks alone. The iceberg principle or iceberg theory is a theory that suggests that we cannot see or detect most of a situation's data. The theory, which we also call the theory of omission or iceberg model, applies to systems and problems too. As with an iceberg, only its tip is visible, while the bulk of it is below the water's surface, i.e., invisible. The Titanic sank because of damage that came from below the waterline, i.e., damage the crew could not see. The Titanic was a British passenger liner that collided with an iceberg in 1912 and sank. Of the estimated 2,224 humans on board, more than 1,500 lost their lives. Monash University in Australia has the following definition of the iceberg principle. A theory that suggests that aggregated data can hide information that is important for the proper evaluation of a situation. Iceberg principle content marketing. Content marketing focuses on creating, publishing, and distributing content for an online audience. The content marketer carefully selects the audience. For content marketers, what is going on below the surface is just as important as what the content is saying outright. In fact, what is going on underneath may be even more important. In content marketing, the iceberg principle is very relevant. Therefore, while most marketers are creating more content each year, it is not enough to be simply creating content. The marketer must create compelling content. Most of an iceberg's bulk is below the water's surface. Similarly, producing compelling content must demonstrate the organization's content marketing strategy, targets, and goals. If a firm combines all of its goals and objectives into one plan, it has a marketing strategy. Let's apply the iceberg principle to content marketing and imagine a giant iceberg floating in the ocean. What we see above the water is what the online audience sees. However, a lot is going on below the water's surface. Below the surface, the marketer is trying to understand customer needs and is gathering customer feedback data, if applicable. The marketer is also providing answers to questions and showing the value of the product or service. Iceberg Principle Ernest Hemingway The iceberg theory is also a style of writing that American writer Ernest Hemingway coined. When Hemingway wrote, he focused on surface elements, i.e., he did not discuss underlying themes. He believed that the deeper meaning in a story should never be evident on the surface. Hemingway said that the deeper meaning should be implicit. Some authors believe that Hemingway used that style so that he could distance himself from his characters. Hemingway was a journalist. Journalists do not usually have time to dig deeply into a theme. Their iceberg style sometimes prevails when they become authors of novels. Look at the writing styles of Mark Twain, Willa Cather, Sinclair, Lewis, and Stephen Crane.
They were also journalists before they started writing books. The Iceberg Model for Problem Solving Great problem solvers spend more time understanding the problem than they do brainstorming solutions. The solution is evident if you truly understand the problem. The Real Problem What's the real problem? How do you determine what's the problem? Systems thinkers often use the iceberg model. We know that approximately 90% of an iceberg is underwater. Also, the width of an iceberg is nearly 30% larger than what you can see on the surface. The 90% of the iceberg that exists underwater is what creates the behavior seen by the 10% that exists above the surface. You can apply the same logic to problem solving. We are often alerted to a problem by a surface-level event or experience. Creating solutions based on a single event may create a temporary fix, but will often result in a repeat of the problem. The iceberg model is a four-step approach to evaluating a problem. Your ultimate goal is to identify the root causes underlying structures and mental models that trigger problematic events. The Iceberg Model Events First, observe and describe what has happened or what is happening. You'll have better results if you are able to duplicate, recreate, or reenact the steps that led to the discovery of the problem. Patterns and Trends Then, determine if this event or similar events have happened before. What are the patterns of occurrences? What trends have you seen? Is there a particular situation, environment or role that experiences this problem? Structures and systems. Then, identify the things, procedures or behaviors that contributed to this event. Why is this happening? Mental models. Finally, what are the beliefs and assumptions that created and shaped the system or triggers that caused this problem? Addressing the issues that occur below the surface, structures, systems, mental models, will get you closer to discovering the real problem and to identifying long-term, sustainable solutions. Thanks for watching. Please, like and comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.